Sunday, April 12, 1981, Kennedy Space Center, Florida. The Space Shuttle, 14 stories high, weighing 2,000 tons, poised like a marble sparrow for its maiden voyage to the stars. This is Columbia, the Space Shuttle that will orbit the Earth. Its external tank holds more than 500,000 gallons of fuel. Columbia's three main engines and the solid rocket boosters, the first in history to be used in a manned flight. At liftoff, the solid rocket boosters, along with the three main engines, known as the SSMEs, will unleash more than six million tons of thrust, propelling the world's first reusable spacecraft into an orbit around the Earth. Never before has a fixed-wing craft launched by rockets exited the atmosphere, orbited the Earth, then returned through frictional heating in excess of 2,500 degrees to land safely on an airstrip intact, only to be launched over and over again. If it succeeds, it will be one of NASA's finest moments. Its success will cross political, social, and economic boundaries and possibly unite the world in an effort to explore and understand, if it succeeds. As astronauts prepare for the 50-plus hour flight in NASA's newest flying machine, their minds are not just on the successful launch and landing of this incredible machine. Over the span of the entire mission, Commander John Young and pilot Robert Crippen must complete a total of 144 test objectives. While Young has more time than anyone in space at the time of this launch, the first voyage of the shuttle, Crippen has never exited the atmosphere. He is an experienced pilot, but a first-time astronaut. The astronauts make their way across the access arm toward the shuttle's cockpit in the pre-dawn hours before launch. An American spaceship has never carried a human crew on its maiden voyage. In addition, more than 600,000 spectators have lined the landscape at Kennedy Space Center. They've arrived from every state in the Union and from countries across the globe to see history in the making. The promise of a rebirth in America's space program and a first for space transportation are on the horizon. 14, 13, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. the shuttle on an exact course toward its imaginary rendezvous in space. Roll program complete. Roger, roll complete. May get a status, Fido. Go. Booster, go. GNC, go. Eagle, go. Go at 40, Capcom. Columbia, Houston, you're going at 40. The shuttle is now 40 seconds into its flight. We see SRB set flight. Roger on a set. 103 converge flight. Yeah. Capcom, let's tell them all the calls are going to be a tad early because of the hot first stage. Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. Damn, that looks good here.
April 14, 1981. NASA's Dryden Research Center, home to thousands of flight tests, precursors to the successful launch of the Columbia, and now home to what everyone prays will be its first successful landing. A recovery convoy of vehicles and more than 100 personnel is assembling here, along with press and spectators from around the world. A string of traffic six miles long indicates just how much of the world Columbia has captivated. On board, the astronauts suit up for re-entry. The ascent and orbital phases of the mission have gone extremely well. Now, the final phase must be completed. Yes, but okay. All right, we're showing you roll. And John, we're showing you rolling right. Looking good. All right, I'm all right. We're showing him crossing the coastline, Flair. Maybe we coast. show you crossing the coast now. All right, yeah. The Anderson Peak California Long Range Telescope is the first to sight the shuttle as it descends. This image is taken at more than 100,000 feet above the landing site. Flat photo, I still look perfect right on the nose. The landing zone comes into view. Without power, the shuttle has to land. It cannot come around for another attempt. They're coming. They're down. Welcome home, Columbia. Beautiful, beautiful. You want us to take it up the hangar, Joe? We're going to dust it off first. This is the world's greatest all electric flying machine, I'll tell you that. It was super. Convoy's on its way. The maiden voyage of Columbia is a success. Everyone at NASA and throughout the world breathes a collective sigh of relief before setting their sights on the next mission. <laughs>